Welcome back to Partner Focus here at VMworld 2017. I'm joined today by my good friend Frank Wegner, who's with the product marketing team for the vCloud Foundation. Frank, thanks for joining us here on Partner Focus this morning. Thank you, Brian. Good morning. How's, How's the show doing? going for you so far this week? Uh, I was, um, it's actually very relaxed, which is good because you can take time to have conversations with customers and partners. So I'm working at the demo stations where people go after the main sessions to get brainstorming going on the, all the announcements that I've heard here. Excellent, excellent. Well, as you know, we're, we're talking today to our partners, our CISOs and our, our distributors that are watching online, and we really want to focus our message for them. So Frank, tell me a little bit about v, VMware Cloud Foundation and about how our partners, our CISOs and our consulting partners are going to leverage that to enable success in their products and their services. Okay, yeah, sure. Cloud Foundation is an automation engine that makes private cloud easy. It helps you install the infrastructure of compute, network, and storage in a fully automated way. So deployment cycles shrink down from two months to less than a week. And we've seen this at our existing customers. Now, if you look at the partner business, it will have quite a big impact on them because most partners don't get their value from installing base infrastructure. It doesn't really differentiate, and it's very important for a partner to actually differentiate, provide business value. And if you look at the whole data center and private clouds closely, you will see that all the business value is actually generated on top of the ESXi hosts. It's generated exactly. by all the vRealize automation that you use. It's generated by all the business logic. It's generated by cloud native applications that you help the customer set up. And infrastructure is a means to an end. It's like almost like a necessary evil. But the best type of infrastructure is the software-defined infrastructure from VMware. And the best way of getting this set up is VMware Cloud Foundation. It actually reduces risk a lot because you have much less um, people effort in setting up the infrastructure. It's much more reproducible. It enforces a base architecture on your infrastructure. So if you're a CISO working with larger accounts that has more than one data center, more than one location, today it's very, very hard to create a consistent architecture across multiple locations because it's always people involved to build right. up the environments. Right. You can document as much as you want and you can educate people as much as you want. They do mistakes. By putting the process of creating infrastructure into a product, it's a whole different way of providing this infrastructure and this will help partners a lot, focusing on all the work on top of the ESXi hosts when they um, do their customer projects. So the business consulting, the business value, the, the software development, the apps. We've t heard Pat talk the other day about it's all about the apps. So VMware Cloud Foundation will enable the CISOs to get to the apps more quickly. It'll get their developers enabled to more rapidly deploy things because the infrastructure, as you said, will just be there. Exactly, plus some people are concerned that, hey, what if I automate in a product? I get this really strict architecture. I have no imp choice how I cable. It's, pretty, it's, uh, it's given, the cabling is given, the way how NSX is installed, all the architectures are given. Um, wouldn't my customers be concerned? I actually think not. If you look at the announcements at VMworld, there's so much about public cloud and hybrid cloud and all the Google and Amazon topics. If, you, if customers really think about Amazon, and most do in some way, or Google, they don't care about details of the infrastructure. They don't care about how networking and storage is plugged together. They care about capacity, they care about availability, they care about having things available, and this is exactly what VMware Cloud Foundation is focusing on. So getting rid of the manual work of creating infrastructure, and for some partners, this is, they have to change the business because they make money with patching vSphere and installing vSphere, and it's an important part of their business. That's a, that's a transition they will have to go through. Right. But CISOs and other partners who focus on business processes anyway, for them it will be much easier going forward. Can you step into the frame just a little bit? You're, you're off mm -hmm. camera, perfect. Um, that, that actually brings me to a very important topic I wanted to talk about, which was life cycle management. This is a very, very critical need. Um, I've been talking with our partners about how the management plane has become mission critical in the last 12 months. And since we've extended that management, management plane from private data centers out over top of public and hybrid data centers. Um, that management plane, which of course v VMware Cloud Foundation is that management plane. Um, the ability to do lifecycle management on that mission critical plane, management plane giving you, as you said, patching and updates, re releases uh, properly applied, 
roll back if necessary. Um, this sort of discipline is a good word that I like to use about the management plane. Is really going to add value. It's really going to uh, reduce the amount of struggles that our partners have in the management plane. It's going to help them keep it up, and it's going to reduce their their costs. Right? Can you talk a little bit about the, the life cycle manager and how that is designed and how that's mm. going to work in VMware Cloud Foundation? Absolutely. Um, and I call it a risk mitigation engine. So <laughs> it's, it's, I, I'm from Germany, and lots of the German customers are very risk averse. And for these scenarios, it's the perfect um, tool to get started because patching of vSphere, vSAN, NSX is fully automated. It's actually almost like a smartphone experience. So you download the patch, you apply it to the whole system at once. The, um, if you look at current ways, how people patch infrastructures, you need to spend a lot of time qualifying what fits together, how, what is the compatibility between the different components, is it compatible to my hardware. And for, for larger customers, this can be a multi-month project. So with VMware Cloud Foundation, this is a whole different spin because it's all pre-qualified by engineering. You get update bundles and upgrade bundles that apply to the full infrastructure stack, not the individual components. Wow. So um, I've just had a report from a larger customer in Australia who is in production with VMware Cloud Foundation and they were upgrading a production environment and they had production workloads running on the system and typically it took them to one to two months to do the upgrade. Um, with VMware Cloud Foundation, they actually managed to do it in four days. Four days. Um, yeah, and that's the actual and technical that's a production, upgrade. a large production environment. Well, and that's the entire stack. It's, it's like, I think, one to two racks, and it is the entire stack. That's, but um, yeah. it's certainly uh, very risky. They did some validations afterwards, and it was all going OK. Wonderful. So, and this is a whole new way of doing IT. And we have a booth here at the VMworld, and uh, we have public resources available. Come and check out VMware Cloud Foundation. So that's, that was the next question I was going to ask is, uh, some of the people that are watching this, you know, you've introduced them to VMware Cloud Foundation, and maybe they want to get involved um, in, in the journey. Um, so where do we recommend that people go? Obviously, that are probably viewing this on Partner Central. But where are some other resources there that they can get a hold of, uh, aside from their account executive to learn about? So at the VMware blogs, you find a blog on which is called Cloud Foundation. We have communities for Cloud Foundation. And if you want to take note of a very short URL is um, vmwa.re slash vcf. And I'll put v that at the bottom of the video. So you can look yeah. at the bottom of the video. Okay. That is a shortcut to a whole list of all public resources we have on the VMware Cloud Foundation, including videos, seeing the product in action. Very short videos, five-minute tips that you can watch in between to see how does this lifecycle management actually work, how do you provision resources, how do you set up the system. So uh, check out this uh, wide variety of sources. Plus, we have announced a new version of Cloud Foundation here at VMworld with a much broader hardware support. So initially we had a very limited set of hardware right. because we had to get the automation going. Right. Now we have added partners like Fujitsu, like Hitachi, like Lenovo, all supporting um, VMware Cloud Foundation. So um, it's, the train is rolling. Absolutely. Well, Frank, Frank, thank you for taking some of your time out of this busy week to come and join and address our partners here on Partner Focus. And thank you for staying. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. We've got more exciting interviews coming up. Thank you very much. Bye bye.